In the previous episode, we headed out into the rolling hills of Knoppiskral in search of my first animal with a bow. And after a number of failed attempts, I managed to put in a perfect shot on a beautiful Nyala bull. And Reg followed up later the same day with a black Impala ram. It was a hugely successful day, but we had more on our agenda. And so it was up at first light on day three and straight to work. So yesterday I got the opportunity of a lifetime uh, to shoot uh, a Nyala bull with a bow, walk and stalk, which was amazing. And then uh, Reg followed up with a black Impala ram uh, with, with his bow. Um, so it was a good day yesterday. It was challenging, but it was very rewarding. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be finding a, a, a blind on, the, on a hill over, looking down. And, um, and Luzan's going to try to get something. So. Um, we know a lot of Nyala come in there, we know there's um, yeah, a lot of activity there, so we're very optimistic, but I suppose we just have to get out there and, and hope for the best. We soon spot the blind sitting on a rocky hillside amongst the boulders and the bushes, and we begin carrying the bows and the cameras in. This is quite new for me, as I'd never really hunted out of a blind before, but I'm certainly excited for a new challenge. So when we found out we come into one of the Twin City ranches, uh, Knopus Kral, and that they built these beautiful luxurious blinds, uh, it, was, it was feeling like we, I spoke to Matt and we said that it's going to feel like we're cheating sitting in a blind with bathrooms and a shower and you know a, a little fireplace in it. If you travel from overseas and you want to have a safari in Africa and it might be a husband-wife team, if nature calls and the ladies have to use the loo, it's quite difficult in the bush. So it's always, it, it eats out at your time in the bush by going back to camp, driving up and down. So here you can um, have a luxury day whilst being in nature and have a great view. You can even spend the night and be here uh, at first light in the morning. That was the idea behind this. It gets pretty cold so the fireplace came. If you spend the whole day and you don't want to go in the bush, there's a bathroom. Um, after a hard day, there's a shower, so everything just added on and they made these beautiful blinds. And that comes from just hunting all over the country and, and spending time in blinds and seeing what, what you need to build a lux luxury blind. So we've actually had more success on walk and stalk, it's late in the season and it's already rained a little bit so the animals aren't close to the blinds anymore as much as in peak winter. But we're still having a great time, something new for us and loving it. We haven't shot anything out the blind yet. Um, but with sitting in a blind, you're stationary, you're in one spot and you rely on the animals coming your direction, which can be pretty frustrating and it needs, you need patience, perseverance to sit in the blind and wait. So uh, me and Matt are uh, quite eager to go after the animals, so we opted for the spot and stalk route with Luzon, but uh, today we're going to sit and hopefully Luzon gets in Yala. <laughs> It's a couple hours before we spot anything but eventually we see movement in the distance and we're able to watch as a small troop of baboons makes their way towards the blind. There's something really thrilling about watching an animal move towards you completely oblivious of your presence. Luzan is pretty set on shooting a Nyala and we realize this might be the perfect opportunity to actually test the mission sub 1 crossbow so we change plans a bit as I get the crossbow out, I load it up and I prepare for the shot. Baboons are considered the ultimate varmint here in South Africa and I've shot many before but not with a crossbow so this would be a first for me. A few days earlier I'd caught a glimpse of what the Sub 1 was capable of when I watched it place arrow after arrow right through the heart of a 3D Gemsbach target from 83 yards so I was very confident and eventually with my heart beating really fast my time came.
didn't see me with the shot yet or anything. But I was on him nicely. Now my heart's beating. <laughs> it's funny how it works. When I was on that Nyala, I didn't have any back fever at all. I was calm. Baboon comes in, suddenly I'm shaking like crazy. Oh, that was special. We waited a long time for something to come in. Um, we have to keep very still up here to make sure that they don't spook. And there was a, a point there where I thought he was going to just run off, but he came back. He wanted that food. And when he sat down nicely, I moved over to a place where I could get a good shot. I kneeled and um, put the safety off, lined up and, and pulled the trigger. <sighs> so hopefully we can go find him. Right, so here's the arrow. Um, didn't go far. Went through the animal and then seemed to plonk off right over here. You can see it's a little bit sticky over here, which means that we've got um, some penetration there. So it's good to see that. Um, see some blood at the back there as well. So we've got our animal. Um, actually, I see a blood all the way through. It would have passed straight through the animal. This crossbow's got a lot of power, so there's no chance of, of it stopping halfway through something as small as a baboon. But I suppose we just have to start a little walk up the mountain now, see if we can find any blood and, and hopefully we can locate him. But I'm really, really happy. Aha! He's right over there. That's not even, that's not even 50 meters from, from where he was shot. Nice big male baboon. Oh, look at that. It's a big boy, I can see where the arrow um, either entered or exited over there. We'll set him up now so you can see what he looks like, but that's a big boy. And yo, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know how good the shot was. I, I felt good when I, when I took it, but I was shaking so much from, I don't want to say buck fever, baboon fever when I took that shot. That's a miracle that I actually hit it. <laughs> but uh, I looked at everyone, they said that it, the shot looked good. We found the blood on the arrow and we've got an animal. So that's, uh, I suppose that's a thumbs up for the, the mission sub one. Um, I've seen what this, what this thing can do at the range, just putting arrow on arrow like 80 yards and we were practicing. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see it do the job in the hunting field with the broadhead on. Really, really happy. Well, this was a really special hunt for me actually for a, for a number of reasons. I think firstly, I mean, the size of this baboon, this is a big male baboon. We'll show a close up of his teeth now, but his teeth are seriously big. Um, yeah, you do not want to get in the way of one of these big boys. But um, I think in particular, the fact that I was able to do a hunt with a crossbow for the first time, um, I've kind of fallen in love with this crossbow over the past few days. Um, it's a Mission Sub 1, and Sub 1 actually stands for Sub 1 MOA. So this thing can shoot, uh, put three shots um, into an inch from 100 yards, which is crazy considering it's just a crossbow, not a rifle or anything like that. And we were shooting at 80, something like 83 yards and just we were able to put that bolt through the heart on, on the 3D targets when we were practicing. So we knew it could do the job. And the other thing that's cool about the setup is we actually fitted my, my uh, side shot scope cam, GoPro scope cam that I've been using on my air guns and my rifles over the past while. Um, and it's been working perfectly. So hopefully that footage came out nicely and you can get to see that nice slow-mo of that bolt going straight through the baboon. Um, yeah, I was very shaky when I took the shot, but I felt good about it. And it, I think it entered right here on the on the shoulder on the right hand side and, and came out right there by his backside. So it skewered him properly. And with that large um, cutting diameter on those on those broadheads we were using, it, it did the job. In fact, I'm actually looking at the shot placement now, I'm surprised it even made it 50 yards. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, glad to get a nice big baboon down. It's been a fantastic uh, trip here, hunting at, at Knoppies Kral. Um, enjoyed it thoroughly. And yeah, we've still got probably half a day of hunting to go here. So we're gonna head back out and see what else we can get. But that's uh, 10 points to the, 10 out of 10 to the, the mission sub one. Really, really happy. At this point, we turn all our attention towards finding something for Luzon, and knowing that we'd had good success walking and stalking over the past couple of days, we set out on foot in search of another Nyala.
We get an opportunity early on from about 40 yards, but there are branches just to either side of the vatals and we really don't want to take any risky shots. All we can do is appreciate the Nyala's beauty and wait for it to move on. When he does move on, we follow slowly, hoping he'll give us a shot. But he's a little bit spooked now, and after a game of cat and mouse, he eventually moves out of reach. Suddenly, a different Niala walks out from behind a bush and presents Luzon with a broadside shot from just over 20 yards. So Luzon had a previous opportunity on a beautiful Nyala similar to this one and it was a, a 40 yard shot which is more than capable of shooting at that distance but there were branches on either side and she just hesitated and I knew she could make the shot but the confidence is 70% of the game so she waited and this 21 yard shot presented itself and just put a perfect double lung into it. And congratulations to this song. <laughs> this is a, a, a bokwurs, which is a buck fever, buck fever expression. She was using the new Matthews Vertex, and she's one of our top shooters in the country. And uh, this is the latest 2019 uh, flagship that she shot, that she's shoot using. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for guiding me through it. It was amazing once again. So this was the last little bit of our hunt at Knoppies Kral, one of the Twin City ranches. And we just again want to thank um, Arnold and his whole team. We had a great time. Um, Matt started off with a Nyala on Walk and Stalk. Um, I got, then got to shoot a Black Impala Walk and Stalk, which was a dream come true. And then Matt got a nice baboon out of one of the blinds. Really enjoyed sitting in the blinds. And then um, Luzon finished off by also shooting in um, Nyala on Walk and Stalk, which we, um, yeah, just what a great time, beautiful place, and uh, thankful to be able to have this awesome time here in South Africa. As a fantastic three days at Knoppies Kral draws to an end, we take a moment to just reflect on our experience here and to just soak in the atmosphere one last time. There's something about the African bush that just buries itself deep in your heart and stays with you forever and this is one of those places I won't forget. <laughs>